special here, Ford GT500. Really, really rare car. I've been really fortunate to get my hands on it. Um, guys, if you like cars like this, I want you to subscribe. I want you to, to smash that like button. Show me in the comments that, you, that you're enjoying these cars and you want to see more of them, okay? Uh, I've been fortunate enough to get this car, you know, 760 horsepowers of this car uh, for the next few days. I'm going to do a POV drive. I'm going to do a full detailed review and driving experience of it. Uh, so follow along. I'm going to have a lot of different videos coming out. Uh, subscribe, follow along, and let me know what you think, okay? Let's get into it. you can see you know big sort of brace big strut to keep the the engine nice and in place uh, you get your your beautiful sort of one man one engine sort of badging big cobra logo right this is something you pull up at a car show and you can open and, and sort of you know feature it to, to everyone it really really you know looks good when it's on display right obviously carbon fiber composite here keep it nice and lightweight Obviously, this being the, the track-focused, the track-oriented sort of model. Um, looks really, really good. Love it. But a lot of people watching this video, it's not even about the actual car, the interior, because that's that's just a, another Mustang. This car, everything here is what makes it a yeah, GT500, right? The engine, the power, right. you know, the rigidity of the, you know, the, all the power being able to stay in one spot. Oops. This is the power plant. All right, let's close her down. I mean, you can obviously see some really nice cooling area here. This engine gets really, really hot, especially on a warm day like this when you're really revving it and driving it hard. So we need a lot of functional sort of air vents. This one's huge to, to really let, let a lot of natural air in um, for the supercharger underneath that you just saw. A lot of natural sort of air vents on the front as well. You can see this, all these honeycombs, that's all functional. Right, to let uh, to let natural air come through. This is a nice splitter to really keep the, the weight of the car down on speed, right? Big Shelby badge across, looks really, really beautiful. A little bit of carbon fiber here. Obviously carbon fiber is, you know, really, really strong, but also lightweight, right? Really, really good material to use in, in track focused vehicles. A few leaves that we'll get rid of there. All right, so specification of this particular model, it's Gunner Yellow. I'm sure anyone who's watching this video has probably watched numerous videos and knows, has done their research on this vehicle. Gunner Yellow, um, it's got the racing stripes, which was another couple grand addition. Uh, it's got the tech package, it's got the handling package. It's just got, it's got about just about everything except for the track package, which is another $18,000 option. Um, this particular car, I don't believe, is being taken to the track. Um, so the carbon fiber, you know, really expensive. Don't want to scuff, um, you know, wheels. Um, we're not put on. They're instead gloss uh, black. Uh, same thing with the rear, um, you know, sort of deck, the rear wing. You can have that with the track package finished in carbon fiber. Um, you can have the whole splitter here finished in carbon fiber. Again, it's really, really expensive option, 18 grand. 
it lowers the weight very minimally um, and, and it's really only necessary if you're taking it to the track on regular sort of occasions. So in this case, um, the owner of this car decided not to go for that. Um, I think it looks pretty good um, in gloss black. You know, I like the whole sort of yellow and black sort of theme, that bumblebee sort of um, trans transformer theme. Um, but I'm a big fan of, of carbon fiber, so you know, if, if your pocketbook sort of can account for it, I would always go with it. Uh, so just while we're in the back here, you can obviously hear that beautiful rumble of the, the supercharged V8. Uh, what I love about the back of this car is this huge splitter here with these massive quad exhaust pipes just breathing that. You can hear it, it's sitting at a grumble right now, and it's, or it's sitting at a standstill, and it's got this deep, girthy sort of um, exhaust note that really, you know, tells people that you're in something sort of real special, real serious, right? So you get that. Obviously this has, like any sort of performance vehicle, it has a, a track mode, it has a Sport Plus mode, this being track mode right now that it's sitting in, so it's the noisiest sort of, you know, most open, valves open, um, letting the engine sort of maximize performance. Quiet mode is substantially quieter, um, but still pretty loud, all things considered. Um, so if you're looking to, you know, wake up in the middle of, you know, come home in the middle of the night, you know, leave first thing in the morning, not wake up your neighbors, there is a quiet mode for, uh, for this. But again, just looking at the beautiful back of this, you can see the three tail lights here. That's reminiscent of a typical Mustang, but then you get the GT500 big, huge wing, very sort of aggressive. You get the Cobra badging that shows you that, that this definitely is not a Mustang anymore. And then the huge exhausts uh, and the added power. This one's 760 odd horsepower, 800 plus foot pounds of torque. Again, a 5.2 liter uh, supercharged V8. Makes for plenty of fun. All right guys, just so we're really, really thorough here, I wanna show you the whole sort of rear cargo. Um, obviously, you know, all the power and everything, track-oriented vehicle, you're still getting Mustang sort of rear sort of cargo space. Uh, so take a look here. Um, you get a little bit of, you know, your sound system through there, right, uh, which is great. You're going to get a good sort of sound system going on. Uh, you can get your golf clubs in there. I'd say you could get about two pairs of, uh, two sets of golf clubs, excuse me. Um, looking underneath here, you got a, you know, set, set of um, a space for a spare tire all your odds and ends that you need, but um, you know, pretty, pretty standard, you know, lots of space if you need it. So welcome to the interior of the GT500. Um, very similar to a typical sort of Mustang um, in terms of fit and finish. Um, you know, the technology, the size of the screen, all pretty standard. Uh, the things that definitely differentiate uh, the GT500 from a typical Mustang, um, Alcantara steering wheel, right? Nice sort of 10 and 2 feel. Obviously big sort of chrome, uh, brushed aluminum um, paddle shifters. Uh, you got your, your little sort of indicator here for when you're turning, when you're racing on that track. Uh, a lot of carbon fiber throughout the sort of cabin. Obviously looking for lightweight, rigidity but lightweight. Um, also, the GT500 badging here on the dashboard shows you that you're in a, you know, something a little bit more special. Chassis number 1552 here, which is pretty cool, right? Um, and just a little bit more of a sense of occasion. Every time I look down, I don't see a typical Ford badging. I see a nice, you know, serious Cobra. Um, every time I look across, I see that, that little sort of GT500 um, one of one sort of little plate, little stamp plate. Um, so just extra little sort of tidbits that make this a little bit uh, sort of different, a little bit more special. Um, obviously you can see your oil pressure, um, you can see your, your, your temperature gauges sort of on the dash here. Um, a lot of extra little bits for when you're actually on the track uh, to help you sort of, you know, um, sort of see where your car is at in terms of heat, in terms of uh, functionality and, and performance so you can really monitor um, as the driver. Uh, but really nice sort of tight sort of cockpit. Um, you know, the, the seats are nice and tight, heavily bolstered. Um, you get a good sort of, you know, driving sort of race car sort of feel when I'm in here. Um, yeah, it's good. Really, really good. I think that the build quality is, uh, is pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the performance here. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for tuning into the, to the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, my time with this car has been absolutely amazing. This is probably the fastest car that I've ever driven. Most powerful car I've ever driven. Uh, remember, this is the, the most powerful 
at the time most powerful production car ever by Ford um, and one of the fastest Tesla excluded probably the one one of the fastest production cars um, to date which is pretty amazing right so it's pretty awesome that we're able to experience this for a few days um, I've given you my opinions I've given you my thoughts I want you guys to come at me in the comments let me know what you think about the car um, what other cars you want me to, to sort of you know to review um, you know I'm looking at a couple cars from my my new vehicle and stuff like that uh, for the for the build for the channel um, so let me know um, the way you can support the channel if you like these cars and you want to see more of these cars is smash the like button and subscribe join the join the crew go for it man go for it join join the um, Join the, the, the community, subscribe, follow the channel, smash that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you like these videos and they can continue to offer up more videos in the future, right? Price tag coming in around 90 grand, 95, 100 grand if you're going with the track package, another $18,000 for the carbon fiber wheels, the rear seat delete. Um, but these are actually really rare and are going for about 20%, 30% over sticker price right now. Um, and this is kind of one of the reasons, right? Look at this like very one of one sort of badging, specialty badging. You can see that this is chassis number 1552. I shouldn't say one of one. They're obviously building more than one, but it's it's a limited production sort of vehicle. So that's where the allure, that's where the, the specialness of it, of it comes. Not to mention with the supply chain shortage and everything, they're completely backed up on, uh, on delivery. Stuff like that, so. What's up? What's up? What's up? Did I mess up the video? What's up? Yeah, I messed it up, man, for sure. Sharp, sharp moves on YouTube. What's up? You nice guys, nice you guys to meet you, man. Then? What are you filming? Yeah. You're just filming the car, <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just kind of kicking okay, around for the day. It? Sharp moves. S H A R P. Yeah, one yeah, word. I'll, I'll Check it out. Get in the comments and be like, what's up, bro? Yeah, have a good night. See you, man. You too. There we go, man. There's, there's a new fan we just got. How sick is that? Organic fan. Nothing better than that, that's so sick. People get so excited over these cars, man, it's awesome. And we're bringing them to you.